So you want the best settings to play like a pro in Apex Legends Season 3? Well, I'll have them right here in this video. Let's get right into it. Welcome back Warriors to another Apex Legends video. Today we're going to be talking about settings. The best settings to play like a pro in Apex Legends Season 3. So today I'm going to go through my settings guys. I'm going to show you what I have. This is what I've been using since Season 3. And we have one new thing that's been implemented in Season 3 that I want to talk about. Which is huge. Uh, especially on console for console players who haven't been able to utilize any of this. Um, it is the menu cursor speed, but we're going to get into that in just a second. So let's just go through my settings for Apex Legends Season 3. So uh, back in Season 1, I made a video for this. Uh, a lot of it has changed since then. Some of my settings have um, evolved, if you can say, based on the current meta and everything that's that they've added and, and taken out in Apex Legends. So... The interact prompt style guys this just displays more if you've been playing since launch you don't need this stuff to be huge just make it compact it makes the screen less cluttered and so you don't have to i mean you should be able to identify everything but it makes the screen less cluttered so put it on impact button hints i have this off you guys should know what to do you should have your settings set to however you have it. if you have a scuff controller like i do you have all your settings set up you should have those memorized so but turn those off if you need help turn them on but otherwise turn them off now the crosshair damage feedback guys i used to have this on like just x but then i put on x with shield icon especially for competitive ranked you want to know and be able to identify what kind of shields that they have so make sure you have the shield icon on shield icon on <laughs> it makes it easier for when you're going into gunfights damage numbers i used to keep this floating i thought it was cool to see the numbers float up on the screen and do all that but i think it's just easier if it's stacking you can kind of tell like hey i put in 10 bullets and i dealt this full amount of damage based on the 10 bullets and where i shot the the enemy player so i like stacking i did do both both it was just like too much on the screen um but you can play around with this and pick which one you want which one you like i like stacking uh the ping opacity i i like a default uh fading is kind of cool but i like a default um this just keeps it up there for the remainder of the time instead of fading off obituaries leave those on i think it's cool to see like certain players that have died in a lobby or if you recognize certain friends you're playing with you can see them die so leave that on you can have it off if you like but i like it on you can see how many people die in the lobby mini map rotation i've had this off since season one i've never actually used it i turned it on once um just to like see what it did and it just made the map turn i kind of like having it square and how it actually is so then that way i can just adapt to my gameplay that way and I, and identify different directions so instead of having it always point let's say north so i leave that off weapon auto recycle guys if you're any kind of player it sucks when your ammo reloads and you have to press the button to weapon swap so have this on it helps out immensely in a gunfight you run out of ammo you didn't finish them off it auto swaps you just hit r2 or r1 and they're dead auto sprint off guys you don't need this on you can leave this on, I would say, if you're having issues with being able to manage your inventory in the middle of a gunfight or on the run. If you're having issues with it, you're fine. But a little pro tip, when you are running, if you press the menu button, your, your character continues to run. So I don't see any reason you need to have this on unless you want to press auto sprint and do something real quick on your desk or whatever. Incoming damage feedback. I like 3D. 2D is just fine, guys. Uh, never use both. I just keep it on 3D. I think it's really fine. Streamer mode off. Um, usage sharing. I keep this on, man. We want EA and not necessarily EA because I'm not a big fan of EA, but we want Respawn to be able to take the data and analyze the game and listen to the community, get that feedback, and adjust the game to make it just a better overall experience. So I have mine enabled. Some players don't like to do that, but I have mine enabled. Colorblind mode I have off. All the basic colors and everything is fine if you are colorblind adjust as needed um but i have mine off subtitles off guys you don't need them the voices in the game are pretty identifiable and the things that they say in combat and stuff is pretty pretty identifiable you can't really like miss out on it so subtitle size if you did have it on i keep it on normal um enable uh accessible chat features i have that off i also have the incoming voice from the characters and the in-game commentary off instead of it coming both as audio and text i have that also off so let's go to the bread and butter 
my button layouts I have this on default I haven't done bumper jumper if you're not using a scuff controller um, then I would I would definitely consider using bumper jumper or even ninja these things make it just a little bit easier to use your or if you're playing claw you could probably play default and get away with it or you can customize this since they added this and change everything that you need to based on your controller settings but I have a I have a scuff so I use uh, just the default settings um, for a while if you're a big call of duty player and you come over to apex you may want to switch your r1 and r2 buttons uh, you know, so that way the back two are your throwables and the front two are your aim and uh, shoot. But I keep them on default. My scuff settings for you guys do know I have four buttons on the back. I do have slot or jump, slide, inside is square, which would be interact, and then the other is weapon swap. All right. Interact and reload button. Tap to use and reload. I like tap if you are using it to hold. It just makes everything take that much longer. If you just tap it, you can do it and move your fingers around to different buttons on your controller. Tap to use is definitely the best one to use. Crouch, always toggle, especially since they took bunny hopping out. For those of you that played in season one and season two and bunny hopping was a thing, you put hold on this, you would slide, hold the button, and then you could press jump and you would bunny hop on console. But since they took that out, toggle it makes it a lot easier. Aim buttons, always hold, never toggle, guys. Never toggle, always hold. Um, the dead zones on your L2 and R2, this just determines how sensitive they are. Mine are pretty sensitive because of the scuff and the, the stop triggers that I have on them, so I leave it on default. If you don't have stop triggers on yours, then just consider adjusting this. The higher you go up, the less and less pressure you need to put on your paddles and your buttons, your R2 and L2s and those kind of things, but... The higher that is, the more sensitive it is. So I just keep mine on default. It's the same respawn feel that you would feel in Call of Duty. So now this is the new one. Season three, they added the menu cursor speed. This is huge. PC players have had the edge on this for a while. I also play on PC as well as console, guys. But now that they brought it to console, this is absolutely insane. You need to play around with this, okay? This determines how fast when you go into a, a dead box how fast you can scroll through the inventory okay this is all that is how fast you can scroll through the inventory and all the better stuff is towards the bottom so you may want to increase this obviously at the top it's super fast like see how fast my control like my menu cursor is going down if i put it down see how much slower this is so it just depends on what you want to do um i've played around with this a few times it's kind of like towards the bottom third for me is where i have it set but you need to go in just like your sensitivities and adjust this go into training or like jump into a live game as soon as you kill the first guy who has even one thing or two things just try to mess around with that menu speed now look sensitivity guys the sensitivities in this game are all dependent on you this is subject based mine have changed over the course of the game evolvement i used to keep it on four which was high but now very high is is my actual look sensitivity what this means is you're just looking around up down looking around doing your whole deal this is not shooting your gun now ads look sensitivity you can customize these if you want to have this off everything will just be the same whatever your look sensitivity be will be your ads speed etc i customize mine based on the game and what guns i use in the game so my look sensitivity is very high and then i customize and turn down my per optics so this changes so for optics one through two I have it on four so when I ADS my aim speed is slower than my look around speed slower because I want to be able to track the target faster I don't want to miss any bullets now the higher optics were when you're sniping using the charge rifle long bows g7 scouts it's a little bit harder because people move very fast in apex legends so I wanted these to be higher because of the way sniping is in this game I want my optics higher so I can lead that target and kind of flick my controller to give that better shot on the longer or higher scopes so you guys can mess around with this you can turn this off and it defaults as you see to everything if i did have this off then my normal look ads speed for every scope on any gun would always be four but i have mine customized as five you can play around with this go into training now they have uh, all the items available so go and mess around with this and see uh what kind of settings that you would actually like response curve classic this is the classic respawn feel that we've seen in call of duty basically any fps shooter game uh, if you go up to steady fine aim high velocity or linear it just makes aiming 
I, I want to say more tunnel vision, like more direct. So you don't move it so smoothly. Everything is very, very precise. So you just need to go through this. I tried on steady and fine aim. Steady makes it very, very like jerky. Like I have to really pull my joystick to be able to aim on somebody. But I like the classic respawn feel. It just makes it more natural. It feels more good to me. Look dead zone. Turn this off. This is if your controller is drifting. When you're just standing there, your controller is just kind of drifting off. Turn it off. You don't need it on. If you are having issues with that, if your controller is drifting, then turn this on and it'll, it should correct it. Um, but that's a different issue. I would go into your controller that maybe dust or something in your joysticks that is making that do that. Movement dead zone is the same exact thing. If your character's standing there and he's just kind of walking, when you're not touching the sticks, then same issue as look dead zone. Just adjust this as you need. The larger the impact will make them stand in, in place. Inverted look. If you're one of those weird players that play inverted, you guys are nuts. Absolutely bonkers. I have mine off. I don't want up to be down, right to be left, etc. So I have that off. Vibration, guys. If you're any kind of controller competitive player in any of these FPS games, we all know. Turn that off. You don't want to be in a fight and have your controller rumbling, messing up your aim, anything like that in a gunfight or any like cinematic thing that's happening in the game. Turn it off. Okay. Advanced look look controls. I have mine off. If you want to go in and mess with this, this goes into the entire dead zone. Everything about how your joysticks move and look. I don't, I've never messed with it, so I don't have any experience there. I just keep mine off. Video guys, now I am on console. Uh, I'm so happy that the uh, consoles are starting to get F, FOV or field of view for their games. So brightness, I have mine basically dead center. Uh, field of view, I, I have mine on 96. You can take this thing all the way up to 110. Um, a lot of players like 102 to 106, but I like my 96. It's pretty solid. Uh, I have never had an issue with it, and I think it just works best for me. Again, this is going to be subject. It all depends on what you want to see and how close you want your camera to your character. Sprint view shake, minimal. When you're moving around, slide jumping and stuff, your screen tends to shake a little bit. Uh, if you have any issues being nauseous or anything like that, just turn it down. Normal is very shaky, so just put it on minimal. Audio. Uh, yeah, discard. Uh, audio, master volume, always 100%, guys. Sound effects volume, you need to have everything on. You need to be able to hear all the sound effects, be able to tell what guns are shooting. Oh, man, that's a G7 Scout. That's a PK, etc. Dialogue, I have this almost to 75%. I have it at 70 This is just, you know, when players call out, oh, Wraith, someone's looking at me. Or, you know, they call out a, an alt, a Gibby Ultimate or something like that. Music volume. I have it just so when I'm at the menu screens, it's nice. In game, I don't really care about it or like the lobby music all the way down. I hate the lobby music when I go in. I can't even hear my teammates when I'm talking to them. So I have this all the way down. Voice chat and incoming uh, voice to chat text. Same thing off. This was back in the gameplay section. They just put it in here twice. But I have both of these off, guys. So those are my Apex Legends Season 3 Pro settings. If you guys did like this video, let me know down in the comment section what your settings are. If you like those settings, if you like mine, you want to copy them, go in and copy them. Let me know how they work for you. Uh, let me know down in the comment section, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on notification bell so you guys don't miss out on future Apex Legends videos. And it's for me, Warlog, as always, stay gaming, guys. I'm out. Peace. Come